In Portugal, the number of coronavirus cases per capita is vastly lower than that in neighbouring Spain. The virus has claimed just over 500 lives. Health experts say it's because of an early lockdown, closed borders and stressing prudence to citizens. Well, joining me to better understand how Lisbon has managed their COVID-19 crisis is Dr. Philippe Froish, an expert in respiratory medicine and advisor to the Portuguese Directorate General for Health. Thank you very much for talking to us. Just tell us Good then, morning. what was Portugal's initial strategy and do you think it's been effective? Well, first of all, good morning, bon dia. And I think the difference in Portugal was we had more time to prepare. We had more time to prepare, and this means we had more time to prepare the hospitals, and we increased the ICU areas very largely, and we, have time, we had time to engage primary care. I think the main difference here was the involvement of primary care physicians, because, as you know, 80 to 85 percent of the patients with coronavirus they don't need to go to the hospital they can stay at home and they can be uh, followed in outpatients by the primary care physicians and we did that so only if the clinical situation deter deteriorates they are sent to the hospital so the hospitals are not overwhelmed and we have more time and more conditions to follow the critical patients in the hospitals in the icus so in other words, we had more time to prepare and we engaged primary care physicians. And this was a big difference. We heard the French president actually yesterday say that the country wasn't as prepared as it could have been. Why was Portugal more prepared? Was it sort of looking to Spain and thinking we've got to act quickly? Precisely, because we have to realise the uh, pandemic activity in different countries in Europe didn't start at the same time. For example, we think we are behind Italy three weeks and we are behind Spain about one week, one week and a half. So this gave us time, precious days to prepare. So this was a question of more time to prepare because we are not facing the same problem at the same time. We are behind. Well, one so thing we that's really, sorry time. to interrupt, just for time, one thing that's really significant now is not only the timing of when the lockdowns get put in place, but then how they get lifted. So what's the status in Portugal? How much freedom of movement do you all have? First of all, we, have, we are in lockdown, so most of activities are closed. School activities, almost all commercial activities are closed. And people, usually, they follow the rules. So they apply very well the rules and we don't have problems of insubordination and people trying to escape. So I think this is also important. We usually, we follow the rules and we apply the recommendations from the government. So potentially some of that compliance has helped uh, the fight in Portugal against this pandemic. Thank you very much for speaking to us, Dr. Philippe Froge, expert in respiratory medicine and advisor to the Portuguese Directorate General in Health. Appreciate it.